Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? I haven't posted a video on here in a while. Uh, we are getting ready for Belize, but before um, we left, I want to release this prophetic word. Um, and so, uh, glory to God, welcome to this channel. If this is your first time ever watching a video on this channel or on this page, um, if you're really on TikTok, then welcome. My name is Shane Inventa, and I pray that this message encourages you. So I was uh, applying in the process of applying for the public service loan forgiveness program, the PSLF program that the government um, has the Department of Education issued. It's been a program since 2007, but just recently, just in October of 2021, they released it with a new waiver and different rules to make it more available for every for a lot more people to be eligible to receive loan forgiveness for direct loans. And so as I was applying, you have to list like your employers. And you guys know, I've told you guys before that I wor I've worked for multiple nonprofits, various nonprofits, just working in service, in public service. And so, um, yeah, just to plug there, if you have a nonprofit, if you work for a nonprofit, you work for a church, uh, something that qualifies as a, a not-for-profit 501c3, or you work for the government, um, you want to apply for the Public Service Loan Forgiveness uh, Program. I've had a friend that just recently got $51,000 taken off uh, of debt canceled. $51,000 of loans canceled. And, um, and so it's, people are getting their debt canceled. And so I'll leave the link for that. Um, but anyway, so I was applying and I list all of my, you know, previous employers and even current employers. And, um, for those documents, it's a very short, very short, uh, program, uh, application for those documents. I had to get them signed by each employer. And one of my employers, they uh, signed it and then she sent it back to me and uh, she wrote on there. I seen that she wrote on call and um, I was like, what does she mean? Why does she put on call beside where I put the hours that I worked? I was like, I was not an on call employee. <laughs> I worked 40 hours, over 40 hours a week. I was a scheduled full-time employee. I was not on call. And so in my mind, I was thinking that she wrote on call as if I was an employee that maybe they just had on call and they were calling just if they needed extra help that day or that week or whatever, and they just had me on standby. And so I was like, I don't know why she put that there. I worked my hours. <laughs> I was a full-time employee. And so I emailed and called. I was like, you know, I'm not sure why... Um, why she put that and there's multiple different campuses there's different uh you know networks throughout uh the u.s and even in other countries and so i was like i know i've never met her before um and so i was like maybe she didn't know like what my schedule was i'm not sure what that means so then she emailed back and she was like uh we have you on file um in our system as still employed just not on assignment and so then she went on to explain and she was like, really, uh, what that means is that if you ever wanted to come back and work here, then you wouldn't have to go through the whole application process and all the interviews and all the preliminary work again. And so you're still like in the system as an employee. So you're still employed, uh, but not on assignment <clears throat> at this moment. And so I was like, oh, you know, okay. I remember I did sign up for that for you guys to leave me on there if I ever wanted to come back and work. And so I was like, okay, I remember that. And then the Lord began to speak to me even more. I think it may have been maybe like a day, maybe later on that day or a day later. And um, it was a revelation that he given. He was like, sometimes in seasons in our lives, the Lord will have us on a season where we may not necessarily be on assignment and we may be on a season of rest where he may have us in a season of rest, a season of consecration, a season where it may be a, a time of healing. Uh, for you and you just may not be as active as you once were. Um, and so sometimes he'll uh, take us to those seasons. I remember me uh, uh, in particular, I remember my personal story when I first moved to Texas, I went through a season of just rest and I just, I needed to be healed and I need the Lord to really minister my, to my spirit about some things, you know, that had happened uh, previously in those previous seasons. And so sometimes that season is definitely necessary. And so I just want to encourage anyone that may find themselves in that season that the Lord has not forgotten you, um, that it doesn't mean that, 
your that your anointing isn't good enough or that he doesn't want to use you anymore. Instead, it may be a season that he has you in uh, for you to be resting and for you to um, be mended and molded and for the Lord to really minister to your spirit and allow you to go through a season of healing. Um, and sometimes it's a season of consecration, maybe a season of fasting. It could be like a season of fasting from social media um, of, you know, just kind of staying to yourself, a consecration of maybe like a, a, a some days of prayer, uh, whatever that season looks like for you, know that you are still employed, but just not on assignment. And so I just wanted to encourage someone with that. Um, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, please do like, share, and subscribe. Uh, your prayers are definitely appreciated. Your righteous prayers are appreciated as we travel to Belize for missions trip. For missions trip, um, and then also that plug for the PSLF program. All of you who have been church secretary, worked for the church, was employed by the church, worked for the government, worked for the police, whatever it is. Um, and then even if you don't think that your employer may be qualified, there's certain. Uh, jobs and companies that have like changed their qualifications. And so all you really need to do is go on the uh, federal student aid uh, website and put in what your employer's name is and their EIN number and see if your employer is eligible, even if you don't think that your job is, is quali it, it qualifies. Um, you know, it, it doesn't really hurt to apply. It doesn't really take anything from you to apply. And the uh, application is very short. You use the PSLF help tool and it took me less than 15 minutes. And so I encourage you to apply, get those debts canceled. Um, and so glory to God, uh, blessings to you all.